Radiohead grâce à la chanson Creep qui était sur le premier album du groupe, l'album Pablo Annie, paru en 1992. Et on a tous été immédiatement séduits par le style musical de Radiohead, par la voix de Tom York, aussi par ses textes magnifiques. Et la chanson Creep a permis à Radiohead de devenir une star, en fait, dans plusieurs pays, aussi aux États-Unis, ce qui n'est pas toujours chose facile pour des groupes britanniques. Puis, en 1995, le groupe a lancé un deuxième album, l'album de Benz, qui était encore meilleur que le précédent. Un album qui contenait plusieurs hits, comme High and Dry, Fake Plastic Trees et aussi Street Spirit. Alors, un peu plus tard, au cours de cette émission, on va vous parler du nouvel album de Radiohead, paru il y a quelques semaines, l'album OK Computer. Et pour tout de suite, on vous propose un survol de la carrière de Radiohead, un groupe qu'on a rencontré à plusieurs reprises. Oh, hi, Tom. Tom, sorry. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. no sorry. problem. Yeah, okay. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. You do it to yourself. I'm Johnny, and this is Tom, the radio head. And uh, this is the new video, uh, Stop Whispering. On Music Plus. Ah, oh, uh, we'll, we'll do that again then, shall we? <laughs> Le chanteur? Ben, je sais pas, il fait pitié son œil. Il est tout à moitié fermé, là. Il y a quelque chose. Hi, I'm Johnny from Radiohead. This is Tom. You're watching Music Plus. Are you scared that you are going to be performing Creep for the rest of your life? Not really, because when you write a song, um, when you play a song that's successful, Um, in some ways, it's not your song anymore, and, and it means, and, you know, I really don't feel bad about playing it, you know, never get bored of it apart from anything, there's a lot of room to improvise in it, and people are just, you not know. Not too much, though. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, no, you know, it's, it is still an exciting song to play now, and I can't see us getting bored of it, really. What I noticed last night in the show was that you didn't play Creep. And I was telling myself... I always it, forgot. <laughs> but it's great in a way to, to, to see that, uh, you know, that band has put uh, Creep in, in, in the yeah. shadow. Uh, it, uh, yeah. You know, it's still a good song, but if you don't want to play it, you don't have yeah. to. We play it when we feel like it, which is the same as any song. So that, that's kind of it now. So it, it totally releases the pressure of that very big hit. We spent a bloody long time getting around it, though, didn't we? Yeah, we must have played it about 500 odd times in the last... Yeah, but it's inc you appreciate the song so much more now that when we do play it... Because you uh, want... Yeah, absolutely, it means so much more. Creep was recorded in one take. That's true, yeah. You didn't like the song? Yeah, and it, when we, not when we were recording it, but when we first wrote it, I didn't like it, especially. Um, <coughs> it was kind of quiet all the way through, and, and the music wasn't matching the lyrics as well as it could, I felt. There was a lot of anger in the song that wasn't coming over in the arrangement at first. You know what I mean? Sorry, I probably haven't told you all this. No, I? you haven't. Um, I didn't know you could even hear the lyrics, because uh, I didn't know what I was singing either. Uh, well, I knew the title, and that's oh. enough, you know. <laughs> That's, that's why you were uh, smashing your uh, guitar uh, yeah. strings. That noise that's was inspired right. by your hatred of the song. Not hatred, I think no. that's too, um, but trying to change the song. Yeah. Really. Tom, you said that you were not totally happy with uh, Pablo Honey. Why is that? Well, I think, you know, first albums tend to um, be full of uh, Uh, a desperate urgency to get everything into every song all the time and you're not very fussy about how many tracks you fill up and there, there, was, there was a lot of that and I think you know as a band we were very young when we did it so obviously that you make mistakes inevitably because of that but in actual fact you know as, as I get further away from that album start work thinking about the new one I get more and more used to it it's, it's, Same with any band, apparently, so they tell us. Why America? 
at first. Um, because there's only one radio station in England, um, and it's very hard to get on when you're a new band. So, um, but in America, records can grow, you can start on small stations and cross over. But in England, you've got to play live, get some fans, they buy the record, get them the charts, then the radio plays you. And that's a very long process. It's a very, um, very hard. Very, the, the, you know, there's one route, and if you don't get in that route, then that's it. And it's very frustrating. It's, it's an insult to new bands.